Okay, so last fall, uh, when I was in northern Idaho, my drone that I was using to do some filming uh, it was brand new, Mavic 2 Pro, uh, with only about five hours of flight time, suddenly took off from where I launched it, uh, and out of my control slammed into the side of a mountain going about 40 miles an hour. And uh, only today I discovered that I could download this flight log from the device I was using to control the drone. The drone itself I wasn't able to recover. It was destroyed and lost. Um, but I found the flight log. So I've been looking at it, trying to figure out what the hell happened. Um, and I think I understand. So I thought I'd just go through that. I'm going to play the log uh, first at regular speed. And then I'll go through it uh, a little bit more slowly to figure out what happened. So um, we are taking off. No, oh, we'll just we'll just let it play, shall we? So this is the takeoff point right here. And we're waiting for a GPS signal because we're down in a canyon. Still waiting for a GPS signal. Still waiting for a GPS signal, hovering about 10 feet off the ground, waiting for GPS, and aha, okay, we've got GPS. So, I've got my little drone indicator. We start to ascend, we're ascending, we're getting high, we're going higher, all of a sudden, the drone takes off, we frantically try to stop it, it accelerates, it accelerates some more. We're unable to stop it. It picks up speed. It won't stop. It spins. And rest in peace. It slams into the side of the mountain, never to be seen again. Okay. So what the hell happened there? Uh, I think I understand. And to help understand, um, it's important to know, I'm just slow the playback down a little bit, it's important to know what the control sticks do. Because this right here, this is an animation of what was happening with the control sticks on the controller at each point during this process. So, the left control stick here, think of it like a game controller. The left stick um, is up in altitude, down in altitude, spin left, spin right. So it controls your altitude and the direction that you're traveling in. The right controller controls forwards and backwards momentum, and it also lets you pitch left or pitch right. So keeping the nose of the drone in the same place, it essentially allows you to strafe in video game terms, left and right. Okay. So right now you notice both the sticks down to the left and down to the right. This is just how you tell the drone you want to take off. Okay. So I'm going to start this at a slower speed, and we're telling the drone we want to take off. Okay, let me snap back to the middle because it took off. I give it just a little bit of altitude, and we'll see over here we're about uh, 12 feet off the ground, okay, going zero miles an hour. We got these warnings up here that there's a weak GPS signal, and these appeared on my screen. So it caps the altitude you can go to unless you have a GPS signal because the drone needs to know where it's at. Right now, it can only find seven GPS satellites from where it's at. It needs eight in order to know where it is. And I'm down in a canyon here, which you can't really tell, but this is a pretty steep canyon. Uh, I was trying to take a look at this, this abandoned mine over here. Okay, but we're, we're down in this canyon. So we're not going anywhere. We're not touching the sticks. We're not doing anything. We're literally just sitting here waiting for a GPS lock. Um, and here I just nudge it just a little bit towards the road, hoping to, to pick up more satellites. And all of a sudden, okay, we've got GPS. The altitude, the maximum altitude goes from a few feet to 400 feet, okay? And I'm starting to rise in altitude, right? So I want to get some altitude, and then my plan is to fly this direction over to the mine. The nose of the drone at this point is pointed back towards me. Okay. So we're climbing an altitude, okay, we're up to about 100 feet in the air, and oh, notice we started to move. 
Uh, we're at 1.4 miles per hour. We haven't moved very far, but we did start to move. Notice the stick that controls the movement. We, we haven't touched her yet. Uh, and if you're wondering about wind, I did check wind. So one, I checked uh, just visually when I was down in the canyon and all up the canyon walls. You know, I didn't feel any wind on the ground. Uh, and all up on the canyon walls, all the trees, it's very heavily forested, so there was no trees moving or anything, so there wasn't any wind. Um, the site the site that does the log analysis does a wind analysis as well, and the wind speed never got above like three miles per hour gust. Like, it's nothing. This is not a wind problem. Okay. So we haven't told the drone to go anywhere, and it's, it's going somewhere. Uh, and if we give it another couple of seconds... Uh, okay, we're already up to about 15 miles an hour. And we're, we're speeding away behind me. Now, you'll notice we spun just a little bit. That's because when I noticed the drone was starting to move without input, I sort of freaked out a little bit. And my thumb, trying to tell it to go up, started, you know, rotating it left. But that's, that's no big deal. It just puts the nose actually this direction. Okay. So now is when I'm in, man, how do I make it stop mode? Because why it's going anywhere. So I press forward, trying to see if I have control of the drone. I press forward again. And if I had control of the drone, pushing straight forward, I should be going in this direction. But you see I'm not doing that, I'm actually sort of floating sideways along this path, even though the noise nose is pointed this direction. Uh, and already, we're up to 44 miles an hour, which is pretty much the maximum speed of the drone uh, without turning it on to, to sport mode, which I never do. Um, so we're about 163 feet in the air, we're going 44 miles an hour with basically no user input, none telling it to do that. And we are panicking just a little bit at this stage. I'm going to zoom out just a little. Okay. So, notice here, in the log, this not enough force slash ESC error. Now this did not appear on the screen at the time, and is I think the root cause of the problem. From all the reading that I've done, this is caused by a couple of things. One super high wind that was definitely not the case here uh there was there was basically no wind it can also happen if the drone throws a propeller but usually when that happens you get this air just before the drone slams into the ground right where it's at because without a propeller it's quadcopter it gets all out of whack it doesn't work right it's not going to suddenly pick up speed because it threw a prop that that's not the way that works okay so the other thing that can cause this is if it just has a bad board. And I think that's probably what happened because, okay, here we go. We're still throwing the air. We're still going in the wrong direction. I'm telling it to go this way. It is instead of floating sideways. I take my finger off of the stick to try to give it some more altitude to get above the direction it's going. Maybe I can rise high enough to go over this so I don't slam under the mountain. So I've, I've stopped with any movement control, so it should pretty swiftly uh, stop speed. This thing stops pretty quick. Um, in fact, it'll stop just about on a dime, so if you if you stop giving it any input telling it to go forward, it'll just stop right where it's at. But even taking the finger off of it, uh, it, it doesn't stop. It, it's still at 35 miles an hour. Okay, speeding around and now rotating it. I realize which direction I'm looking. I'm trying to point it back in the right direction. Maybe I can get it to come back this way. Uh, so I've got it spun around now. Realize I can't get above. Still not telling it to go anywhere. Still thumb off this stick. And it's still at 45, almost 50 miles an hour. And rest in peace. Notice just before it slams in, it does give me a high wind velocity. This is triggered when the drone tilts too far. When it tilts too much, it figures that's because it's high wind pushing the drone sideways. Not the case. There was no wind. Uh, and it slammed into the side of the cliff here. This looks pretty close to this road, but this is actually very steep. There's no way up this. Uh, the only way to get up here would have been to find a way onto these roads. Uh, and anyway, I was not able to recover the drone. So the problem was this not enough force yes the air, which I didn't know. Um, but, you know, you can see all that happened within, I don't know, maybe maybe 10 or 12 seconds. Let's watch it just sped up just a little bit from the point of it freaking out. And here it goes. Takes off. 
oh god, what do we do? What's happening? Help, maybe spin it around, maybe get it up higher. Let's get out of here. Nope, 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 nope. And blammo. Rest in peace.